Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I'd like to welcome you to this little tips and tricks video. If you have a CNC router, which if you're watching this video, you do have one or are getting one, and you have a bit, which you will or do have, and a collet where you have to put it, the bit in the collet. What happens if you run into a situation where the shank just happens to be a little undersized from the collet, and so it doesn't tighten down appropriately on the collet? The problem you run into when that happens, if the collet is too big and the bit's too little, is you will have something called runout, where it'll, it'll only clamp on three points on the collet, and the collet will actually spin around like that, and it can ruin your projects really quickly. The important thing is, is to make sure that that collet and the bit are almost snug together when they slip together. But when you have that shank that's undersized, you've got an issue. So I'm gonna tell you a little tip and a trick that we used when I was in CNC machining, where we would get around that when we ran into those circumstances. This comes by virtue of an email I got from somebody who was in an emergency working on a sign for a customer and it was a hot job. And in the middle, they had a little bit of a mistake so they had to resurface the area but they had a half inch shank on their bit and they were using metric collets. So they didn't know what to do. The 12 millimeter collet won't fit, the 13 millimeter collet's too big. Here's how you get around this kind of issue. Let me take you to the piece of paper here. In order to fix this problem where the collet is too big for the bit, what you need is a pair of scissors and a piece of paper. Cut a strip of paper like that. Take that strip of paper and wrap it around your bit. Now one thing you don't want to do is overlap the paper. You'll create an uneven surface. Just wrap it around a bit and then cut that extra bit off. Just like that. So you can miss a little bit there. That's okay. And then you put that paper to where you want it on the shank, which I recommend that you keep it low on the shank near your near your blades and then slowly insert it into your collet where you don't buckle the paper. It's kind of hard for me to get that because this is the right size. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to measure this. This shank should be 0.25 and that's exactly what it is. It's a quarter of an inch. Now over the paper it's 0.255 so it'll take up that little extra space that you need. I'm showing you this on the 3 uh, what I call the silver bullet bit. It's one that I actually had made special. It's 3 16ths diameter down cutting bit with a one inch shank on it, a uh, one inch flute length. So we replace your one eighth and your quarter. You can use this instead of using both of those so it eliminates bit changes. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down below. Now the person that emailed me, they had metric collets and they had an inch shank. So he had a 13 millimeter collet with a 12.7 millimeter shank. So one or two pieces of paper will take up that space and make it work out just fine. Now if you have a situation where your bit is too big for the shank, let's just say you have a, a quarter inch shank and you have a six millimeter collet. It's almost the same size, but not quite. The collet's a little bit smaller. Don't try to jam that bit into that collet. You're gonna run into quite a few different problems by doing that. Number one, you're gonna have less contact surface on your bit, and that means that the bit will be more prone to slipping while it's cutting, meaning slipping down or slipping up, and that's gonna ruin your projects. Also, you're ruining your collet. You're spreading the tangs out of your collet, and of course, finally, you're damaging the collet and wearing it out a lot faster. So don't try to jam a big bit into a small collet. So let's get back to this. I'm just gonna explain this to you again, and if you're finding this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Put a comment down below. Garrett, that's a cool tip. <laughs> let's go. Put that piece of paper around that shank. Don't overlap the paper. Slowly insert it without crumpling the paper. Put this thing into your collet and give the nut just a little extra snug because now you have multiple contact layers going on and there's a more potential for slippage on your bit from the resistance from it turning. So now you have a quick emergency fix if you ever run into that situation. Piece of paper, that's all it takes. That's what we learn in CNC machining when you're in it for so long. You learn all kinds of tips and I got a bunch of them up here 
I'll be giving more to you. And go look for this bit on the website. I'll put a link down below. A lot of people that buy these, the 316 silver bullet bit, say so that's all they'd use now. They don't even use the quarter, 20, uh, quarter inch or the eighth inch bits. This is Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Another little cool tip and trick for you. Hope you have a great day, better tomorrow, and happy CNCing.